we're gonna see if we can um, remember how to play these characters. It sounds good. Uh, make sure the sound deck is on. It is on, baby. It is on. I see uh, Apex Legends on the can here. Uh, anybody play Apex Legends? I haven't tried it. The only Battle Royale that I've ever played a decent amount of time was not Warzone, not the Call of Duty one that's out right now, but the one that was before this, the first Battle Royale map they made. I liked that one uh, by Treyarch, but I, I have not really gotten into the Warzone one. Let's, let's make it rain. Make it rain with the gobble trees. Or <laughs> gobble trees. I just love the fact that I have somehow extracted seed from a tree. Just while it's staring at me, I've <laughs> just pulled seed right out of it. Sounds so funny, doesn't it? Uh, not a fan of all energy drinks, just don't like the taste. Uh, it's, it's, yeah, no, I'm with you there. I like the sugar-free monsters. And honestly, this was one of the first sugar-free drinks that I tried and liked it right from the beginning. Uh, I'm usually not a fan of the things that have the substitute sugar in it, but the if you ever want to try one, get one, get the white can. That's like, you can ask anybody. That's typically the one they say is their favorite. So as you guys might have seen, I had a poll running on the channel, deliberately left Dofus off the list this time. I was uh, curious to see if anything else would win, but I had a lot of people still go for the um, Ankama universe here the cosmos they like it i'll give it a shot it feels weird running three characters though because for the last couple weeks i've been doing just the one on illy's ale i it's been a like two weeks and it's amazing how much of this i've forgotten how to do in three weeks i love this move reminds me of the shariuken move from the street fighter games Got them all set up for 9-3 now. I have no idea what to do along the line of gear. <laughs> oh man, I feel like this is such a massive game and I feel like there's still so much of it. I don't know. Look at this, I'm gonna extract seed from it. Hey, get back here. <laughs> it don't want me to take its seed. It's like, no, you can't have my seed. Get it, I'm collecting seed. We're gonna proceed. All right, that's not a good one, but I, I just started drinking it, so we got to give it a little time to kick in. <laughs> uh, hey, Ben, just joined your guild on Illy. Hey, that's awesome. Mr. Glitcher, that's awesome. Yeah, I really debated on if I was going to live stream Dofus tonight just for the fact that I kind of got that guild going, and I was like, I don't know, maybe I should. And honestly, there's a chance I might, like, halfway through the stream, switch to Dofus. I did think about doing that, too. I guess there's no reason I have to stick with one game for the whole whole stream. Uh, all shucks, I've been trying to join two, but didn't see anybody online from the guild. Oh, merciless! Uh, I tell you what, I don't know. Can I turn on Dofus and Wakfu at the same time? Hold on a second. I'll get you in there. Let's see what happens if I try to open both Dofus and Wakfu. Things are about to get wild. <laughs> uh, oh my goodness. We got a lot of people on here at the moment. Up to 41 people. That's amazing. My goodness, look at all these people. There's so many people out. That's fantastic. Got a nice spread on the levels too. Well, hopefully people are starting to be able to group up and go do some things. You're welcome. All right, I'm gonna hop out of here before I cause some kind of issue. Hi, Benjamin. I recently started playing Dofus again after a long break. Could I join your guild? Oh, absolutely. Oh, and I just closed it. <laughs> yes, I will get you in there. Give me just a minute. You know what? I'm almost thinking that I should probably switch to Dofus. Honestly, that I think is where I'd rather be tonight anyways. Seeing all those people in there. That just looks like so much fun. There we go. I think I had most people on that poll that I put out even still leave comments saying, I'd rather see you play Dofus. And I'm like, you know what? I think I, I, think I want to play Dofus. I'm addicted. I'm addicted. What can I say? Uh, those glad to enjoy Dofus as much as you do. Yes. I do enjoy it a lot. It, I, I played this game a long time. Got a new follower. Hazard Maid. Ooh, that's fun. 
Hazard Bay, thanks for becoming a follower. We're going to go with Epidemic Sounds. I'm, I'm in an Epidemic Sounds kind of mood. In fact, I was trying to put together a bit of a playlist. There we go. That's more magical. Doesn't that feel more magical already? If you got a favorite, don't hesitate to ask me. Otherwise, I kind of randomly select you one. Unless you're Zax. Then you get assigned things like the torture because you like to use the alien sound to scare me. And everybody else. I was talking to Lady Misai earlier, and she said that just watching my clips video that I made, my little highlights clips, she said that she jumped out of her seat every time she heard that scream, and she was just watching the replay of the thing. I was like, yes! It's nice to know that those scares scare other people as well. I also almost dropped the dishes I washed up when I watched the video. <laughs> You guys had suggestions on improvements. Oh, one thing someone suggested was changing my font text from red to maybe white with a red outline. Anyone know if you can do that in stream elements? Doesn't really look like it's changed, has it? Something, type something. Hey, I like that. I like you all, you fun people. Noobs here, hey Noobonics, welcome back. Any plans for what you are going to do? You mean on, <laughs> now that I'm on Dofus? <laughs> my Wakfu plan's already got scratched. We'll come up with our Dofus plans here in just a second. Hey, Nubs! Uh, almost tricked me into thinking this would be a Wakfu stream. It started that way. <laughs> it just didn't last very long. I came over here to invite somebody in the guild while I was in the middle of a fight on Wakfu, and I saw all these people I logged on. I was like, I want to be over here. So I came back. Uh, wait, it's Dofus time? Yes. Yes, Dion. The first 30 minutes was dedicated to Wakfu. I'm sorry. Uh, we'll give people a minute, just get back in, and I'll, I'll explain what all happened there. I think something got boogered up during my switching back and forth between Dofus and Wakfu. And then I went into stream elements and was trying to manipulate my overlay at the same time as it was live. I think I just, I, I just really mixed up some signals. Hey, Shin! <laughs> I'm blaming that crash on you, because the last thing I heard... Was the alien scream? And then Streamlabs was like, nope, I'm done. In case you're not aware, so I'm still kind of new to the whole streaming and recording at the same time thing. And one thing that they said to do is when you have your computer streaming it and recording it, they said make sure that your game, whatever is running your game, is on a different hard drive than your streaming software. And Dofus is. It's on a separate hard drive from my streaming software. I don't think Wakfu is. I think when I installed Wakfu, I think I put it on the other drive. So I got a feeling that between me hopping back and forth, uh, between the games and all that kind of stuff, I think I just, something ended up getting boogered up and, and the system just locked up on me. Look at this. I got a fire quark set now. In case you guys are wondering what I'm up to now, I've got the fire quark set. Uh, my friend Leafy mage the hunting weapon onto my sword and did some vitality over maging on all my pieces again. This set originally had me at about 600 HP. And when he got done with it, I was up here over the thousand mark again. I was so happy. I want to run a ton of stuff. I'm going to run this. We'll run Boostash. We'll run whatever's after that. We'll, we'll just make a, a night of destroying dungeons. How's that sound? I, I've had people reach out to me and be like, hey, you seem to have a connection with Akama. Can you ask them this or that? And I'm like, eh, I kind of got a connection. They they acknowledge my existence, <laughs> if that counts. Which is, you know, I figure that's pretty good considering I'm an English content creator. I, I figure any acknowledgement's got to be pretty good, right? Want to become famous? Buy followers. <laughs> Cracks me up. Now this, uh just randomly comes popping up. That was an account that was created March 5th. It's not even like a new account. Imagine buying fans. Uh, if I want to buy fans, I'll do more giveaways. <laughs> there we go, we got rid of them. Yeah, if I want to buy fans, I'll go to the hardware store. <laughs> Stream juice is kicking in, baby. Jokes are getting good. 
Oh, I actually don't have any copyright issues there, Nubonics. I use a subscription service called Epidemic Sounds. It's fantastic. Or just generic. Yeah, so here's what I... Uh, I think I've I've shown this to people. This this website's fantastic. Uh, sound effects you can you know you could type in anything you want here for a sound effect, and you'll find yourself some <laughs> sound effects that you can use. Who doesn't like a fart sound? <laughs> oh, but the best part is, oh, what's this disgusting farty and swelling? <laughs> Groans? What? All right, hold on a second. Now I'm a little curious. Let's pause music so we can hear these really well. <laughs> okay, that one's... I, this is underneath miscellaneous musical. <laughs> I don't know about that. Oh, come on. I, I want, like, loud, saucy. These just sound like trumpets. Is there any good ones? Uh, anything good ones through there. Let's... Now, now I want me a good fart. Like putting hand in the armpit and squeezing repeatedly. <laughs> These are all real short ones. I wasn't sure if they maybe had one where they chained a bunch of them together. So this is Epidemic Sounds. Isn't it epic? Ooh, wet farts. <laughs> you guys had no idea what you were getting into when you came into the stream tonight. <laughs> I told you guys, I'm just a big kid. I crack up at fart sounds. That's not too shabby. <laughs> this one's called Wet Farts Deep Puffing. <laughs> What's deep puffing? Oh my gosh. Farting in a bathtub. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. That's enough. This stream has really turned crappy. <laughs> this way, even if we don't get any of the achievements, we at least snag that one. 170, 190. I think we're going to do just fine. You going down, Shafa? Mm -hmm. Trying to remember. I think one of them is you got to try to use... All of your MP. I can't remember these off the top of my head. Now, do remember that we have a Yoshan. So every time we damage from a distance, we're going to stack 20% damage on him. So just be mindful of that. And these guys slide around a lot. This guy specifically. He slides around a lot. It's funny that you bring that up, Nubonics. One thing I've thought about many times is in video games and things like this, when you do hear certain sounds... Somebody sat there and made those sounds into the microphone or whatever so that they could be recorded and then used. So anytime you hear a really funny sound, it may sound like it's in its proper place in the video game. But could you imagine being in a studio and you're recording that? So like you're standing in front of the mic and you're going, hoo, ha, he, ha, hoo. <laughs> you got to do all those. And then they use them. Uh, kill him first. I don't think we should try for both of these. I think that's going to maybe get us killed since we got this buff on here. So let's try for Nomad. And if we don't manage to pull it off, uh, you know, not really worry about it. And let's target. So let's target single characters. So maybe we'll make this guy our kind of like our first target. And I'm going to buff him up here since I just talked about how we need to be careful about that. <laughs> but I think if we solo Nomad got it. Yeah, we're going to shoot for Nomad. Uh, I think if we single target our enemies, that's going to give us our best chance of pulling this off. I get like Mario vibes from this song. I love the sound that goes with that. I'm a big fan of that. I think that sounds really good. It's epic. 
There you go, Jaybird. Just for you. It's epic. <laughs> yeah, one of the reasons that I really got into the... Um, I'm going to make sure this guy gets finished off. Uh, one reason I really liked Epidemic Sounds is because of the sound clips. With, uh, with those... Uh, Quest to 200 videos where I had a lot of sound effects, pop-ups, you know, very story-type videos I was making. It was nice having a big selection of uh, sounds I could go for. I'll get the Fat Dragon out this turn for heals. Just finished my Sedita set. I can go, but I'm 128. Oh... Oh, sorry. That's a bit high. Would definitely feel like a leech run. <laughs> In case anyone didn't know, I do have a stream going at the moment. There we go. So... There goes the dragon. Alright, we still got the challenge going. Oh, you're locked. Okay. No worries about it. I had a feeling that would probably happen at some point. These guys are really good at locking. And since they can slide around so easy, and at this early of the game, it's not like we have much along the line of release spells and all that kind of stuff yet, so we can get that on another day. We'll still get the score achievement. That'll be nice. I'm 84 with bad gear. Is that okay? I understand you don't want your experience ruined. Um, maybe not for Haunted. But if we keep going up in dungeons, maybe. Yeah, because we don't want to get too far outside the level cap. Alrighty. I guess I'll go with this guy. And let's steal some from him. He's got some decent resistance to... Or do I got... Oh. I'm going to put on that shield. I'll put gear on IOP and it can join for later dungeons. Okay, lost. Well, 70s okay. We're we're right in the 60s, 50s. I kind of feel like anything within about 20 levels is probably okay. Um, but if you'd rather wait until cuz my plan is to run these two and then try to get even the next two past this, which it might be a better level cap if you wanted to wait for that. But I, I don't want you standing around bored either, if <laughs> if you're bored. I don't know. Does Dubs ever get bored? Dubs may not get bored. May always have another project up the sleeve. Let's see. We're, we're doing well so far. Jaybird. Ooh. I wish I had some heal moves. I, I have ways of healing myself. But I don't have ways of healing other people yet. Do I get something that does, though? For some reason, I was thinking that I do get some kind of a healing spell at some point. What's this one? The allied target is healed based on the number of ruins present. Heal is less on the caster. Okay, cool. I will get something. And it's range modifiable. Nice. Okay, at least at that point, I'll be able to help. Uh, I got a way to heal. It's just my prey is still on cooldown. Oh, okay. We got here by ZTV. Hey there. Thanks for becoming a follower. How you doing? By ZTV. Is that what you're going for? I buy ZTV. <laughs> I like it. 
Nubs just got lost in worlds. <laughs> uh, okay, yep. All caught up there. Let's see. Man, I feel like everywhere I go right now, it has a negative XP bonus. What does what does have a bonus? See on Echo, that was never an issue. You could go almost anywhere it seemed like and find bonuses. Well, there are a lot of areas. It's all the new areas. That must be what it is. Well, no, it's not all new areas. Hmm. Okay, I'm just not having much luck here at the moment, I guess. On topic of Haunted House, just before the stream started, I finished it, and one of the achievements was to kill the boss last, but he seemed to revive the regular bosses all the time. Yes. As long as you have killed them once, though, uh, you're still okay. Uh, let's see. Dog, I think you're in the stream, right? I forget which... I forget which character you were. Uh... So specific tags. Oh, <laughs> Zonica, I just saw your your message there. Uh, where's this? Oh, he's he moved on us. I can't reach either of these guys. I mean, I can I can hit him, but it's gonna not do much damage. It's gonna give him a buff. So I think I'm just gonna wait this turn. Um, uh, but but dog, are you in? They're considered summons on the revive. What software are you using to stream? Yeah, uh, that's right, Rec. They're they're considered summons. Uh, at the end, got tired of killing everything three times. Just died. Oh man. Okay, it looks like somebody's explaining to him. Yeah, I don't know if you're in the stream or not, but yeah, as long as you've killed each one of the bad guys at least once, you can then kill the main boss, and you'll be fine. Uh, what software am I using to stream? I'm using Streamlabs OBS. Dog here. Oh, there it is. Merciless. That's right. It's like, I knew you were here, but I could not remember. <laughs> like, what name was it? But yeah, they're, they're summons after you've killed them at least once, and then you're good to go. I had that same problem uh, back the first time I tried to get that achievement, too. I was like, quit bringing them back. And I kept trying to kill them off before I would attack him. Uh, but I, I learned the hard way as well that as long as you've killed him at least once, you're good to go. Boy, Jaybird, you're hanging on there, aren't you? I got to know how to find out how I get hurt the more I run. I think you have a, this right here, you have this, this hell on you. And you get six MP damage for every MP you use. You get six air damage for every MP you use. So running across the field like that, that's how that happened. <laughs> Unfortunately. Ooh, great song. I like it, this one. Is it going to be enough? Yeah, baby. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Man, you guys can't handle me. You skeleton, you skeletons are dead. <laughs> oh man, such a stupid joke. I can't help it. Uh, now there was something I was about to do. Oh, the song, that's what it was. I was gonna add this to the playlist because I love this song. I definitely want that on the playlist there. Uh, oh, okay. I think I downloaded some Gamecaster. Haven't played with any of it, though. Gamecaster? I haven't heard of that one. Uh, I use regular OBS for any of my video recording that I do. And then I use Streamlabs OBS for any live stream stuff I do. And both softwares are free. They don't cost anything. And they're both fantastic. Uh, you can technically use both for both. Like, you could download just OBS and use it for streaming and for for recording and you could do the same with Streamlabs. Uh, I did that for a little while 
But what I found is some of the settings I wanted slightly different for my recordings versus what I wanted for when I was streaming. And I, I kind of liked how if I opened one software, it was just set up for that purpose. And then I'd use the other software for the other purpose. Just made it a little more convenient for me. So that's why I went that route. My goodness. This guy's a gunner. See you, buddy. How can you see those stats with the group and enemies? I don't get that on my screen. Um, oh, well, the fight's over now. I can't, I can't show you. I'll, if you remind me, I'll try to show you at the, at the next, on the next fight. Interesting question for you. I thought about actually putting this as my poll today. I kind of wish I did. I think it would have been a fun poll. I might still do it next week. So I just got done watching this Netflix series on aliens. You know, are they real? Is the government covering it up? All that good stuff. I always find the topic very fascinating to listen to. So I thought about putting a poll out there. You know, how many people think aliens are real? And uh, so curious if anybody in the stream, which, anybody, anybody got a thought on aliens? Real, not real? Big green guys? Or maybe uh, little little bugs? Maybe you are an alien? And you can let us know. <laughs> uh, we have animals that can survive in space. There has to be aliens. All right. It's one of those things where I, I feel like there's just so much misleading information out there that you would never be able to decipher the truth from the false. I, I was talking to a guy at work, actually, about this. I said, yeah, the problem is right now, I feel like the best way to keep anybody from knowing if they're real or not is just to create mass confusion about it all. So the best way to do that is by saying they're real and then saying they're not, saying they're real and then saying they're not, and then just keep leaking information that shows that they're real and then shows that they're not. Then people won't ever know what to believe. It kind of reminds me of that. I don't know if anybody here watches The Office, but it kind of reminds me of that episode where uh, Michael, the office manager, is going around telling that uh, Stanley's having an affair, and he's like, because he's finally got some juicy gossip, so he's like sharing it with everybody in the office and everything. And then he runs into Stanley, and he's like, "Just don't tell anybody, okay? I'm going to fix this now." And he's like, "Well, how do you untell a secret? You can't, but you can mask it by telling a whole bunch of other secrets, and then nobody will know which secret is the real secret." <laughs> and so then he just walks around, and starts making a bunch of stuff up. <laughs> I was like, oh, that's pretty good. Spicy, I am recent. I am recently trying a new agility chance duo ranged build. Wow, that's a mouthful. A new agility chance duo ranged build <laughs> recently for my Sacrier. Next dungeon is count. <laughs> Obviously. Obviously. <laughs> Man, you know, how many people... How many people in the stream have you run count on Illy's Ale? Not on Echo or on Shadow or anything where you can multi-count, but on uh, on a single account server. I guess Jahash would count too, but on one that single accounts, how many people have actually run through count? I want to count you. I'm curious. Because I would love to try to do it. But I'm just kind of curious how many people have actually done that. That's right, Lady Beastly. You get all the good stuff. See, we got we got the stream juice tonight. You know the jokes are going to be good on on stream night. Mm, I did, but I got carried. Not going to lie, I died in the second turn. <laughs> yeah, the goal is I want I want to see how many people have actually been through it. Like you weren't carried, you were a a big part of the process. <laughs> if that makes sense. Sounds funny saying it that way. Uh, oh gosh, Benji, <laughs> what was that joke? <laughs> Get out! <laughs> well, Benji, I can't, I can't run because I'm bad at counting. I was level 200. I just sucked. I wasn't really recruited for the purpose of being carried. It was I was trying to say. Okay, well that's fine. You weren't being leached through it. You didn't pay somebody to just carry you through. You actually were there to <laughs> attempt to fight it. And I don't blame you for dying on round two, because I died on round two many times. I totally get it. It's a very complicated dungeon. Uh, but anybody who really wants to try to beat that dungeon, I'm going to make it through there at some point on Ilya's Ale. 
So that means I'm going to need people to go with me and be willing to die 10, 15 times to help me help us pull it off. But if you've ever wanted to beat through those Fergus dungeons, I'm dedicated to make it happen. By the end of Count Dungeon, you'll be reaching to that energy drink with your left hand. <laughs> I'll be like pouring it this way. I'm going to take a drink and... Does <laughs> that put it in my mouth? <laughs> or I'll be... Sp I'll be spinning in my chair trying to... <laughs> of course, glad to support any English Dofu streamer. Awesome! Appreciate it. Okay, so kill him last. Never finish next to an ally. Okay, I think we can do both of those. Let's see if we can manage both of those. That would be amazing. All right. Uh, I'm going to go after you first. You know what? I'm going to get right on you so I don't give you any kind of a stacked bonus here. And we're going to do this. And I'll put on my shield. Uh, we're going to kill Boostash last. We'll kill Boostash last and we'll avoid standing next to each other. Yeah. Don't you love it when they give you like impossible achievements it's like we can't kill him last and the vampire last all right he's got some decent health and the and the thing about boostash also just make sure you know you can't push or pull him around um so uh if you get stuck over there you might be stuck Oh, boy, we brought Yapper into the mix now. It just got real. I'm going to come over here and make Gargoyle on my next target. <laughs> Get him, Yap. Ooh. Oh, just stole all your MP. You ain't going nowhere. Yeah, Shin, no, I actually didn't count on you making it. You've got such little HP. You need to see about getting into the Royal Gobble set. I think that would help you quite a bit. That would be a good next step for you. Unless you're, like, saving up for uh, Quack or Scar Leaf, maybe? Maybe you're going that route? I don't know. All right, come here, you. And... You know what? I'm going to do this again. Don't worry, guys. I think I could solo this dungeon if I had to. <laughs> oh, man. I feel like I feel like this Hupper Mage is just so strong. I love it. I really do. Uh, there's a dungeon with impossible achievements, too, like Totulu. It has one where you're supposed to stick to enemies and the other where you're supposed to never end your turn next to them. Which one is it? <laughs> well, you got to remember also, they don't necessarily design these with the hope that you can do both at the same time. They count on the fact that you might have to rerun to get the other one. Um, but yeah, there's some of those that it is, it is kind of funny. Boy, they aren't letting you move at all. That's all right, though. This guy will be gone next, and then I'll come around there, and I'll be able to help you with those guys. Now, we've already killed the vampire once, right? He's a return. All right, let's get you finished off. Bada boom. And I don't think I can... Oh, I can reach you with that one. Okay, we'll go this. There we are. You know, for the longest time, the um, uh, Burb, I don't know if you guys have seen that, but there's one with Burb uh, where one of the challenges to not steal any AP from him, to beat him without stealing any AP. And for the longest time, I was like, is that a mistake? Because how do you beat him without stealing AP? Because that's how you make him uh vulnerables you steal ap so he gains ap uh, and it took a long time till i realized um 
that there is a way to do it, and I, I learned it through Wiki, I think is what it was. Uh, but you actually have to use the, the one that hops around on the stick. Can't think of his name at the moment. But if he... Um, mm, let's go this way. And come around here. I'm not gonna get. I'm not gonna hit him from a distance because that's not gonna. It's gonna do more harm than good. I'll get him on the next turn. Uh, we can focus boost dash now. The rest are summons at this point. Um, but the one that hops around on the stick, it actually can cast its. It's got a spell it can cast on Burb if it's next to it, and it's kind of random trying to get it to trigger but once it triggers the uh the burb will actually gain a ap just from being hit by any spell it doesn't have to be an ap steel spell you can hit it with any spell and it'll gain ap and then it can cast its spell to make itself vulnerable and for the longest time i was like what i didn't know you could do that and i actually did it i got the achievement and everything i was so proud of myself when i did that because for the longest time, I was like, this is just an impossible challenge. Because you can't use pushback. It's got 200% resistance to all elements. There's literally no way you can hurt this thing. Uh, unless it it casts that. So, yeah, I was pretty pretty happy about that. Alright. Uh, let's let's get you going. Let's get you taken out there, Mr. Boostash. I can't lock you. I guess... Eh, I'm gonna come this way. This way, he might have to chase me. Killabris, yes, that's the one. Uh, yeah, there's a mob, but it's tedious. Uh, I hate that creature in Odo. <laughs> it's not too bad if you got a group of people, but if if you only have the one, it gets old real fast. If you're running solo or something, because you if he starts skipping your turn, kind of screwed. Uh, remember when you had to do all the Odo dungeons just to reroll? Yes. Yes, and that's when people were a lot more worried about, you know, what their build was. Uh, what's the meta for this class? That sort of thing. I think when they changed that, it was a good move on Ancama's part because it allowed people to start being creative without being, you know, scared to try things. Um, my goodness. He pushed me away. I think he's getting health back each time he does damage too, which is probably not helping. But we need to we need to be able to try to focus this guy. Check out that frog. Uh, hurt him by stealing his girl and adopting his children. Well, not not just the dun dungeons. I think I'm I think I missed something. Uh man. I guess this doesn't require line of sight. I can hit him with that. It's gonna kinda buff him though. Then I can use this to do a little more damage. There we are. I gotta say, Terrawin, <laughs> you've been having some really bad luck. You haven't been able to move this whole match. But you're still fighting away, buddy. I love it. <laughs> He's just stuck over there. Nope. <laughs> That's why I started over here. I was like, I know the boss almost always runs straight back this way. I was like, okay, if I stay focused over here, I can help knock out the little guys before we have to focus Boostash. So uh, I think I think we're still going to be okay. Because these guys are all far away. I think they fixed it, but there's a French video of someone beating Kimbo, Burb, etc. only using pushback. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, Burb, you can't you can't beat with pushback anymore. Uh, mm, yeah, because even if even if you use pushback on him, he's got 200% resistance to all elements. Um, I mean, I don't know. I guess, I, I guess I've never seen a pushback build, so I don't know what kind of damage they can put out. I, I guess maybe it's possible, but 
Oh, these guys are stealing AP from me also. That's another reason I'm... I was like, why can't I do more damage? Uh, okay, let's go with this. And we're going to do this. There we are. All right, we almost got him, guys. Oh, oh you got to move. You got to move. It's amazing. <laughs> uh, I used to work on the moon as I used to work on the moon as well. He plays Osa. He low key deserves it. Uh, must have missed something there. Uh, Golaru and S Sancti is also terrible to do. So much luck involved. Yeah, I've heard about that one, and it it is trying to get that one is it's not a fun thing to try to do. I totally get you. This guy's running away from me. He's trying to get health back. He's running away. Are you scared? Oh, and he stole all my MP. Oh, this thing stole my MP. Okay. Um. Hmm. Okay. Well, I guess I'll just do this. He's got to come back this way at some point. There we are. Come back this way, Boostash. I dare you. Oh, they took you out. My goodness. I'm single. <laughs> See, I told you guys not to worry. We got this. We got this. <laughs> That's a good way to finish right there. Epic. Epic clutch. I agree. GG, baby. That's a good one. <laughs> Oh, that was a fun win. I like that. Uh, you produced so much corn on Echo that the price have... <laughs> oh, Missile. I like that. I've produced so much corn on Echo that the price has dropped. Now he's doing the same to Illy's Ale. That's amazing. That's amazing. My motto is going to be to drop the corn prices. Crash the corn market. Does anything actually prevent multi on Illy or is the honor system? No, it's it's a locked thing. Uh, there is a workaround. It's illegal if you do it. And if you get caught, they can... I don't know if they just, like, boot you for so many days or... Uh, I, I don't know what the process is, so, but you got to be kind of tech savvy to pull that off. So the way that Ancama knows, well, I say Ancama, but the way the servers are set up so that it knows if you're you, you're trying to multi count is every computer has like a an IP address on it, and I'm making this as general as I can for what I know, but it has an IP address which is kind of like a code or an address for your computer. When you log in with a client, it says, okay, this IP code is for this account. So like when I log in as Benjamite, my code shows up right there and it's like, cool, I'm in. Well, if this code all of a sudden tries to pop up on another client, it will say, sorry, you're already playing or or sorry, you can't, you can't multi-account on this because it sees you with that IP. There are ways you can make your computer look like it has multiple IP addresses though. That's where people are able to still work around that and multi-account on a mono account server i don't know how many people do it i've never heard that it's a real popular thing but at the same time if you are doing it i don't think you would go around telling people that you're doing it because you're not supposed to do that and i don't think there's a whole lot of people out there that would be tech savvy enough to know how to do that but as far as just the average person you know like like me who hops on here uh no it, it'll, it'll prevent me from doing it it'll say nope you got one on. Now, if you've got two computers, because you can have two computers at the same house that will register with two different addresses. So if you set up like two computers side by side, you could log both of those and run two accounts that way as well. That's another way you could do it. But, you know, how many people have two computers set up side by side for that sort of thing? Yes, IP address, also phone numbers. You can't you can't make a character on Illy's if your account 
isn't verified. Oh, there we go. It's a permaban if you get caught. Okay, I thought it was a big deal. I thought it was. So I wouldn't recommend trying any of those tactics. I wouldn't I wouldn't recommend it. Yeah, let's see if I got any pieces. So here's some pieces I've got. Somebody hooked me up with this chance set. So I got a, a Kara Cape, Axel, uh, this piggy cape, belt, boots, and then all these pieces in here. And the idea is that I could try the chance build uh, Hupper Mage. Problem is I can't wear half this stuff yet. Almost all the stuff I actually can't wear yet. I could put the trophies on. Oh no, they're, they're two piece set trophies. <laughs> I could put that one on. It gives me something I can wear. Um, but I, I don't have anything else I can wear. Now this I could put on at level 55. This doesn't really do anything to help my damage, but but that's the biggest reason I, I'm like, I don't know what Drago Turkey I want to get yet because I don't know if, if I try this and I fall in love with the chance. Although it's like, you know, this is one thing where I could have a, a chance turkey and I could have an intelligence turkey uh, and that way I could swap out different builds. That, that could be an option for me because I've, I've heard that the chance Hupper Mage hits really hard and I'm a sucker for a hard hitting character. All right, I'm back. Sorry, I went in to say goodnight to my boys. Both my cats went shooting into the room. They're not supposed to be in there at nighttime. I was like, ah, so I had to get them out. Let's get doggy. Here's some rights. He's a guard dog. <laughs> get it? I made him a guard. He's a Uganek. I mean, come on. That's perfect guard dog material. I'm not even subscribed, and I'm thinking about unsubscribing. The corn is too much. <laughs> oh, man. You don't get this level of corn just anywhere. This is the good stuff, man. I don't water it down. There's no, no fillers or anything. It's just pure, natural, amazing corn. It's on a whole other level. Hey! Thanks, Missile. I appreciate that. Is that a two months? You're my third person with a two month subscription. That is so fantastic. I truly, truly appreciate the support. You guys are fantastic, amazing, and I'm glad Hazard loves the wholesome corn. Yep, none of those cornflakes things going on here, baby. It's just all corn. You don't even gotta visit the state of Indiana to get pure Hoosier corn. I deliver it to you straight through the internet, typically on Friday nights from about 7.30 to 11.30. Eastern Standard Time. <laughs> I don't know if that's my standard time or not, but it sounded good. <laughs> I think as long as you're not a Twitch partner, you do have rights to stream on both at the same time. You can replay, reply to both chats and stuff. Yeah, I'm not a fan of that, though. I've been in streams where there's a chat going on both in YouTube and Twitch, but the problem is... is as a viewer, you can't see both chats. And so there's been times when I'm like, uh, I'll hear the streamer start replying to somebody. I'm like, who's he talking to? <laughs> Nobody asked anything. Uh, I don't think there's anything wrong with it. There's a lot of people that do it. But I just feel like, uh, I just feel like it, it, it doesn't, it doesn't translate in a way that I like it enough yet to want to do it. So that's the biggest reason I, I haven't been doing that. Uh, how do I get out of here these tofus are level 100 oh <laughs> you went into the wrong one yeah i understand it could be distracting it can it can be distracting trying to watch the two different ones you feel the same way yeah yeah i like it being in in one place one focus that's why i even already have a hard enough time just chatting with the stream and then if people put stuff down in the chat down there on the game itself i unless i like need to reply to somebody or I'm trying to ask a question or something like that. I try to avoid chatting down there because that's the other thing I don't like is if I'm watching a stream and half the time they're <laughs> and it's like I feel like I'm like watching this person who's not really streaming almost like I'm I'm not supposed to be watching them. <laughs> feels kind of awkward. Um, yeah, so that, that's why I pretty much stay focused on the the stream chat to the best of my abilities. I, you you won't see me playing around on on this thing, you know, down here. Like, uh, 
It's just it's my personal preference. I want to engage with the people that are sitting or washing dishes, trying to go to sleep. I hear people like to listen to me as they go to sleep. I guess that's all right. <laughs> you do you. You do you. Sweet dreams. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. <laughs> See if we can serenade you to sleep. Here we go. So whoever it was that just serenaded to sleep, I just woke you right back up. <laughs> oh, see, it's all fun and games when y'all get to randomly scare me with the sound. But what about when I get to do it to you? <laughs> it has become risky business to sleep to your stream now that there's a chance someone might trigger a jump scare at any moment. <laughs> oh my gosh. That was perfect timing. Or am I? Oh, wait a second. I might be lagging out. I got Hourglass of Doom going on. Uh, yep, I'm disconnecting, Jimmy. And look at that. Two hours and six minutes. Look, I'm going to show you. I'm going to prove it to you. Look at this. Top corner right here. Uh, right there. Two hours and six minutes. I told you. It's almost exactly two hours on the dot. I get disconnected. I used to think it was because I ran four counts instead of just one. If that was just... Where I reached max memory or something. I don't know. Um, but nope. I'm just running one account. And at two hours and six minutes, I got disconnected. The crash never happens to me. Yeah, I don't know what it is. That's so weird. You do all window updates and drivers, everything. Yep. Yep. I've tried clearing cash. I've tried everything. In every other game that I run, no issues. It's only Dofus. <laughs> the dog growled. I don't blame you. Oh, here we go. Looks like he stayed pretty close to being put. Ha <laughs> ha! Lit him up. Bye, bird. I guess you could say he flew the coop. <laughs> so, missile gun, do you think I'm firing on all cylinders? <laughs> it's actually impressive how quickly you can come up with corn. My little twisted brain, man. I'm telling you. I tell people all the time, I'm like, I don't know, it's just the way I'm wired, I guess. It's a it's a gift. It's a natural gift. There we go. Light you up. I'm gonna make <laughs> turn these guys into fried chicken. I actually double tap the button. <laughs> Heard one of the cats scratching on furniture. <laughs> They're not supposed to do that. You want to know a real quick way to get a cat's attention? Can of air. This is what I use when I'm cleaning my computer. But one quick little spray of that, and they think it's a hissing cat, a really loud hissing cat. It doesn't matter where they are. <laughs> they take off. Ariel was my, my wife's name. Her name's Ariel. And she told me the other day, she's like, boy, the next time you go to clean your computer, these cats are going to freak. I was like, oh, I didn't even think about that. Oh, is that the end of those songs? Get some more music here going. I don't know about that one. Uh, let's, let's see. What's dance? What's that going to, what's this going to get us? Anyone feel like dancing? Hold on. It's about to kick in. I can see the little sound bar. Here it goes. This one's called Flip It. Flip it. Flip it. Flip it. <laughs> <laughs> My goodness, this stream juice is messing me up. Okay, uh, I think I'm ready. You know, it's so funny. I was going to say, you'd think with me just running one account, it would be easier for me to stay focused. <laughs> I just find myself getting even more distracted. I think it's a good volume. Okay. Yeah, I, I know it sounds funny, but I would rather it be a little too quiet than a little too loud. I mean, admit it. You'd be pretty upset if you missed one of my corny jokes because you couldn't hear me over the music. You guys don't come here for the music. You come here for the jokes. That's where the goods are. Oh, did I get a chance yet to tell you about my um, 
my construction joke? Oh, no. It's because I'm still working on it. <laughs> I had to come up with another one, man. He's up at 3.30 in the morning. He needs he needs these, these jokes to help keep him alert. Top of his game. Anybody feel like dancing? This is from the dance category. See, this is also what happens when I don't have four characters I need to keep track of. I gotta do something to fill all the time that's not my turn. <laughs> Ooh, this just got good. Okay, yep. This one's going on the playlist. That's fun. Well, I can't reach you with anything but that. And that ain't gonna do any good. And I can't travel. I can't buff. That's the one thing I don't... I, I wish that I had some buffs. See, do I have any just self buffs coming up at any point? Man, does this class have no self buffing? Like, I don't have to hit anything. I'm just standing on the other side of the map, and boom, I can do some kind of a self buff. I don't think I have any. Consumes a target, repels each ruin on the field. I might have just found its first weakness. I just found one of the first weaknesses to this class. I got all kinds of ways I could buff myself, but they all involve me being able to hit in a, hit an enemy or have hit an enemy. Someone can correct me if I'm wrong on that, but it doesn't look like I have anything I could just buff myself with. And it's not that I don't like the class. That doesn't affect how much I like it or not. It's just that's one thing I've been repeatedly noticing is if I can't get close to a class or close to an enemy, it's like I don't have anything I can do. <laughs> I'm like, I want to do something. So I got to take one of our kitty cats to the vet tomorrow. Um, we've had them, we've had both our kitties, I think for just over a month. I don't think it's been quite a month and a half yet. Probably about four weeks or so. And one of them last week and this week has been sneezing a lot and had like some goopy eyes. We kept an eye on it. I was so quick, I couldn't even get queued up for my little sound all right uh well here we go 160 and we are oh wow we are way over man we're tough okay that's fair i just want to make sure if you were needing bread I, I got you some more uh we're not doing the challenge where you stay put i find that very annoying at this stage of the game because these things run everywhere uh the other one i think is versatile we'll try to get versatile so tarot Watch out with those little birdies you like to throw through the air. You got to watch out for that. Oh, so Saturday night, uh, I've been working on playing Resident Evil 2. Well, I played Resident Evil 2 on my free nights, on my free night about two weeks ago and got about three and a half hours worth of gameplay. Well, since people want those in 20, 30 minute intervals, you know, they want smaller versions of that. They don't want the really long clips. I was like, man, I got like two weeks worth of footage here. And last night I just finished editing my last bit of footage I had for that. And I do not like this song at all. I'm not a fan of any song or sound that has like wah, 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 wah kind of effects going on. Like that whiny kind of sound. Not a fan. Um, but uh, so tomorrow night I'm planning on actually getting to play some more of that game. It's been a couple weeks and I'm like, ah, oh, I'm having so much fun with that. I want to, I want to get some more time on it. All right. Uh, let's, I don't think I'll be able to reach you with that one. Nope. I'll be just short. So let's go this way and we'll hit tubby. I'll lit him up. Stay up 24 hours. Oh, no, thank you. That would not, I mean, I'm sure it would be fun. But out of the 24 hours, you'd probably have about eight hours of it looking something like this. <laughs> I, I wouldn't be, <laughs> I'd be getting all these little posture check alerts over here and I, I wouldn't see a single one of them. <laughs> I'd be out. It would be a bad idea. So one of my cats maybe jumped on me, woke me up. That would probably do it too. But yeah, I, I told somebody, what was it? Somebody asked me if I would ever do a 24 hour stream. And I said, I tell you what, if I ever reach the level 
where I can go full time as a content creator, like the channel's grown big enough, Twitch has grown big enough, whichever, and I could go full time into it. If I ever reach a point where I could go full time, I'll do a one 24 hour stream is like a celebration. Uh, but it would not be something that I would want to do regularly. Uh, I, when I was younger, I could stay up all night and a good portion of the next day. And, you know, it wasn't healthy still, but I could handle it a lot better. Uh, nowadays, it's like it takes a while to recover from it. And not only that, but you just don't feel very good for a couple of days. Uh, even if you're functioning better, you just I feel like it it takes a couple of days to get balanced back out after doing something like that. I'm like, I don't know if that would be worth it. Oh, I think we just, we, we lost a challenge, I think, maybe with the versatile. Taro, Taro. Taro, tonight you're doing terrible. <laughs> with the challenges. Oh, I couldn't resist. Oh, quick, hit it, hit it, hit it, steal it, steal it. Hey, yeah, that's pretty good, right? Did you like it, or was it a terrible joke? <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so bad. <laughs> oh man. Oh, it gets dangerous. The later in the night it gets after I've been drinking a stream juice. Could you imagine the kind of jokes I'd be telling if I did a 24 hour stream? I don't know if I could even handle that level of corn. I think that might even be too much for me to handle. And I can handle a pretty fair amount of corn. I heard that as it came in the house. <laughs> as you came in the house. Oh, it's awesome, Shid. Welcome back. How you doing, Shid? Oh, you said something on one of your videos the other day. Uh, you used the phrase shenanigans. I was like, dude. You totally need to be using that. That's brilliant. I don't know if you've used that often or not, but I was like, since your name is Shin and shenanigans is just a very fun word. I was like, that's a really missed opportunity. You need to be taking advantage of that because I would be all over that. If I had a cool name like Shin. Hey bro, uh, Tubu, Tu Tubu? Hey Tubu. How are you doing? Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Uh, thanks. Had to get some almond milk. Almond milk's good. Almond's good. I never thought about that. You never thought about that? Oh my gosh, shit. Shit, shit, shit. You need to be talking about shenanigans. I mean, that should be like a t-shirt, dude. I'm telling you. That should be your slogan. Like, my, my thing is all about, you know, corn and corny jokes. Shenanigans could be your thing be y'all thing. What kind of shenanigans are we getting up to tonight? Uh, oh, he got big. That's a big boy. I like this song. It's going on the playlist. I actually made a... Let's see. Uh, add it to the list. Actually made one of my little uh, dungeon montages to this song here. I believe it was the Kulak dungeon. And I remember because there was that one spot where it goes do 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 do. I had it zoom in on the mom the mama Kulak and she does like this little move like that at the same time. I like I like that. I did good. I did good. Oh my goodness, I can't hit that element at all anymore. Alright, I'll just hit you with that. Mm -mm. How can I turn that into a uh, bag for the viewers? Oh, a badge? I don't know, but you got you got to be trying to look for that. Uh, how did you find this game? 99% of players must be French. Well, <laughs> I was going to say, I specialize in eating French fries. I use French vanilla in my coffee. I don't know. None of that stuff really applies. But I, at first I was like, that'll be good. And I was like, no. That's not corn level. 
That's not a corny joke. Uh, actually, I was introduced to this game by my brother. Uh, he found it. Uh, who? I'm not quite sure how he found it. I'll have to ask him one day. Uh, he plays still off and on, but he's the one that introduced me to it all the way back in the beginning. And he was telling me about it. Uh, me, him, and a good friend of mine, we went camping. It was on a bit of a road trip. And on the way back, he was he was telling us about this game. I'm like, okay, it sounds interesting. Um, and then when I got back and I got to actually try it, it was over. I was hooked. And so that's how I found it was through him. See, I'm coming up. I'm about three and a half hours, though. I think we will be wrapping things up not too much longer. Raid! Hey, Jimmy! Thanks so much, Jimmy! Oh, I appreciate that. I really appreciate that. I've gotten, uh, there have been like three or four people subscribed tonight. You guys are amazing. I truly, truly appreciate support. You guys are fantastic, and you make doing this even more fun than it already is. And it's a lot of fun. So those of you who do want to get some more Dofus, I'm going to take you over to Shin's channel once he is up and going. Thank you guys so much for coming and hanging out and uh, making tonight a blast. Hope you enjoyed all the corn, all the great jokes, material that I gave you. And um, that's about it. <laughs>